Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Gingerbro. I'm going to keep this video nice and quick for all of you guys. It's how to download Bacchus Mod, so just go ahead and type it straight into Google. It's going to take you right to their website. Now, you're going to have the download now button here. It's going to redirect you to another page, and like I said, I'm going to keep this one quick, and I'm going to show you what the mod does at the end of the video. So, once you're here, you go ahead and click here to download, and it's going to download a zip file. And then once you download that zip file, you got to open it up, extract it somewhere. I just put it on my desktop. You know, it's it's easy to keep track of it, and you can actually delete this file whenever you're done with it. Just don't actually delete the mod itself, because you're going to use that to open up um, Bacchus mod every time that you play Rocket League. So, I have it right here on my desktop, and what you want to do is actually click on it, and then choose yes. Now, I already have it installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose no, but first time setup, you are going to choose yes. Now for everybody wondering, is this safe? I'm actually going to go ahead and scan both of the files right now on my screen. You can see no threats found and let's scan the other one. No threats found. So it is completely safe for you to use and you aren't going to get in trouble for using this because it doesn't actually change the game in any meaningful way um, that would affect the gameplay itself. Now you can see we have two files on our desktop, Bacchus Mod and Rocket League. First of all, we're going to open up Bacchus Mod until it says uninjected. Once it says uninjected, we are good to go ahead and minimize that and open up Rocket League. Now, whenever you open up Rocket League, it is actually going to start up the game with Bacchus Mod in the background. Now, whenever the game finally starts up, and you can see right here, I'm going to leave it and just let it load up and show you guys. You're going to be able to do a bunch of different things in there including changing the the skin on your car and what is this haha <laughs> well i gotta censor that out and i'm bad for 72 hours which is freaking awesome oh man gosh darn it oh anyway getting back into the video let me show you what this mod is all about now obviously I can't play online because I am banned, but that's okay because this mod is mainly for offline use. Um, now you can see you have a bunch of different options here. These are your options for free mode training. Now as well you also have the option to um, actually change the look of your car. So you can show different items on your car that aren't actually there. Now you're the only one that can see these, no one else can see these, and it's very easy to adjust them. You just adjust them inside this menu here, and you press F2 to open up this menu. So you you can see I can go through and adjust the tires that I'm using. I really like my setup right now with the all white with white apexes. Now it does give you options for color schemes and stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to get. You can see I have a white car and I also have white rope tires on right now which isn't possible in the normal game. So it is pretty awesome and um, I, I do like it a lot and you are actually able to go into training and do some stuff as well so let me show you that. Now, once you are inside training, you are able to configure specific commands for your D-pad. So, if you press the up button, it'll go on top of your car. If you press the down button, it'll come and it'll pass the ball to you. And you can see me demonstrating it here on the screen. Now, it is super useful for training because this is stuff that isn't in the game that you wouldn't normally, normally be able to do. You can see I just passed it up to the backboard and tried to get a backboard shot off. Um, but you can, you know, pop the ball up on top of your car and you can configure this and there's a whole bunch of different options for you as well inside that F2 menu. Um, a lot of people use this for training to be able to help get better, you know, by themselves. Um, maybe doing an hour a day with Bacchus Mod and just, you know, hitting the ball to themselves. Trying to practice some shots or get used to the ball mechanics. Um, as well, you are able to track your MMR in online games, so in competitive you can see what your actual score is, which isn't something that you're able to do other than going to, you know, like a third party website to see what that is, but inside this mod it'll actually show you, so you, if you're being super competitive and you want to rank up, it'll show you how much um, MMR you have, you know, how much you lost the last game, how much you gained the last game, and it's just super useful, especially if you want to keep track of that kind of stuff. Now, it is a little bit lighthearted as well, you know, considering that you can change your items, but overall, it is a really good mod, and I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. So, if you did enjoy, go ahead and leave a like and a comment. Let me know, you know, did this help you out? Do you want to see more of these videos? And I really appreciate it. If you guys like it, I'm going to make more, and maybe we'll do some workshop maps, or maybe we'll create some. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.